let's say that I'm working locally and I'm about to start this Raza server over here on port 5005. Then after a while, I get this message telling me that the Raza server is indeed up and running. So that means now I can start sending requests to it. However, writing all of these requests can be a very manual process. And it'd be nice if we can just maybe get a bit of a head start and have all the APIs available to us in an easy user interface. So what we've done is we've added a repository on Postman that makes it just a little bit easier to construct requests for Raza endpoints. There are two endpoints that we have currently configured. You can find the Raza open source HTTP API as well as the Raza X HTTP API here. And you can find them on the official Raza workspace. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a request for the HTTP API and I'll just check the version of Raza. I can hit send and I get a response. It seems that the demo that I'm using locally is indeed using a old version of Raza. A neat feature of Postman is that the base URL is a variable that you can change. In this case, it's pointing to localhost 5005, but if I have a different URL, I can change the base URL variable. And when I change this variable, all the URLs in my collection here will update. And I'll give a quick demo of this. Let's say that I'm running this on port 7007 instead. The Raza server is back up and running. And now if I were to hit send, the request would fail because the base URL is now pointing to the wrong port. This will go on for a while. We're not getting a response back. Now to fix this, what I can do is I can go to this environments tab over here. And what I can then do is have a local setup available. This local setup allows you to change a variable from its initial value into a new current value. So I'll just go here and change that to 7007. I'll hit save. I'll make sure that my local setup is indeed what is selected as active. And when I now go back to my request over here, I can confirm that the base URL has changed. I can hit send. And there you go, the request works again. Now this has been a really quick demo where I'm just working locally, but it's good to understand that you can change this base URL to point to a live version as well. What's more, you can also explore the Raza X API via this workspace. And if you're interested in exploring that, there's an extra setting that's good to be aware of. I can click the Raza X HTTP API over here. And here you can become aware that for certain endpoints, you need to be authorized. So what you can do is you can set a token over here. In fact, you can double click and it then gives you the option of setting your token as a variable here, which will also make it easy for you to explore the Raza X API when an endpoint requires authorization and authentication. We hope that you'll find the Postman workspaces useful. They can certainly help when you're debugging or when you're exploring our Raza APIs. The workspace shown here will be supported by us over at Raza, so we hope that you'll give it a spin.